it's Emma here and today I'm sure you already know what the video is based on the title and the thumbnail but today's video isn't what I was planning on wanting to film today um, or all week I was just gonna film a fun video today but it's just not gonna be like this anymore as you already probably know from the title and the thumbnail Tara my newest horse has indeed hurt himself I'm gonna go into detail really quick um, but yeah so Welcome to today's very sad video. So if you didn't see the video on this channel a few months ago, I think about two months ago, um, I got Tara about two months ago, maybe three months ago now. I don't really remember, but um, so we've been doing really good together. He is mainly in the jumpers. He's, he's a very high energy horse. He's very young as well. Um, and he has a bit of a difficult past, um, so that's why he's super fiery and kind of skittish and stuff. But yeah, in the past few months, we've been doing super good together and everything. Um, but a few nights ago, it kind of all went south. By the way, I'm filming this on Thursday, so the day before it goes out. Um, so on Monday night, um, at like 2 in the morning, um, I guess him and the other stallions weren't sleeping. They were roughing around and stuff, just having a good old time. Um... And it was really slippery in the pastures um, because it has been raining for the past two weeks, like, non-stop. I think today's the first day where it hasn't rained at least a little bit. So the pastures have been very, very muddy, and all the horses have been, um, so that's not been very good. So I guess um, all of the stallions were kind of running around and stuff, and Taro, unfortunately, he slipped and he fell on his leg. Now obviously, with horses, you can never be too careful, and they can hurt themselves very easily. And that's kind of what he did. Um, so he has a tendon injury. It's pretty mild, so I think it'll probably be healed within a few months, hopefully. Um, but yeah. He's just eating a hay net right now, so we'll try not to bother him too much. But that's the leg that he hurt. Um, I just have it wrapped, just to kind of keep it kind of still and chill. I do have to rewrap it every little while. Um, but it's doing pretty good. He is on pain meds, but I think he's doing pretty good right now. Everything else is perfectly fine, but I guess he's going to be in box stretch for a little bit. So obviously this isn't great because I was planning on showing him a lot this summer. Not like a lot, lot, because I have three jumpers. Um, but I was planning on showing him for the first time with me and him, because he's showed before, but not with me, um, this summer. But I guess we can't do that anymore. So this will just be a summer of Crystal and River. So still very good, but I do have to keep an eye on him. So like I said, it's mild, so hopefully it'll be kind of mainly healed um, within a few months, probably like three months or so, um, and then we'll kind of start getting him back into work, and I'm hoping that it won't be too hard on him, because like I said, he has had a few, he hasn't had a very good past, like a young life, whatever, um, I'm not going to get into detail about that, but so hopefully he'll be fine, he was, he's going to be perfectly fine, but hopefully mentally he'll be good. Um, but yeah, um, I will probably be post posting a bunch of updates on this channel, and I will definitely probably be posting updates on Instagram, on the Sapphire Stables Instagram, go, um, follow, um, Sapphire Stables, um, the link is always in the description down below. But yeah, so that's a little update on Tarot, um, I just had to get that out of the way. Um, he's doing perfectly fine now, I just wanted to make sure that he was good before I film this video, but he's doing great now. Anyways, away from the sadness of today's video, I'm gonna tack up Crystal with you guys, and maybe ride her with you. Um, and yeah. Here's Crystal, by the way. She's not been on the channel for a very long time, I realize. So... Here's Crystal, she's doing perfectly fine. She's very dirty right now. She's always super dirty for some reason, but here she is, she's doing great. So the plan is I'm gonna tack her up, ride her, and then I'm gonna take give her a bath because she she clearly needs a bath. We have decided to ride her bareback today. So now I'm just gonna go get her bridle and bridle her and then we're gonna go out for a ride. Okay, we're all ready. She's so cute. For those of you wondering, I do always ride her um, with a fly bonnet because she's very sensitive to noise. And a few of our horses here are, so that's why we always ride with ear bonnets. But yeah, we're going to go out for a trail ride actually. And I did not bring my girl bro because I did not think I was going to be filming this today. But I thought I was just going to be filming Taro. But here we are. Um, so I'll see you guys after our ride. Oh, please. Oh, thank you. Oh, she did so good. Oh, she's such a cutie. We are all tacked off, and now I'm gonna go really quickly, because she's hot, I know she is, um, even though it's very humid today. Um, 
I'm gonna go get my group or not my group supplies. I'm gonna go get my bathing supplies from my tack box and we're gonna go put it over there in the little stuff. Okay, here's my little tack room, personal tack room. I'm kidding. For people who are wondering, because I know that you guys are, um, I do not have my own tack room, unfortunately. I kinda wish I did, but I don't. Basically, this is off topic completely, but the girl um that Basically, there's multiple tack rooms in here. There's another tack room literally right next to this. Um, the girl that, the, 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 there was only me and this other girl that had tack in here. Um, and she actually left our barn like a month ago. And so now I have the whole little tack room all to myself currently. So hopefully no one else comes. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, a little tack room tour of my own tour. Really quickly, just because, you know, why not? A um, little tack room tour, a little personal tack room tour. I've got Crystal's own saddle and her bridle because she has a really weird back for some reason, so she has her own saddle. And then I have that's River and Tara's saddle because it fits both of them, so it's good. And then I have um, that's Tara's bridle, and then I have River's bridle in here because I didn't have enough hooks and I was not going to put two bridles on one hook. Um, so it's just kind of chilling in there. I have my bear rug pad. I have like salt licks behind there. I just don't know where they are. Boots, a lead rope, treats, first aid kit, and my bathing supplies, which, I was, which is what I came here for. But that's my own little tack room, just because I know you guys want to know. Okay, now we're going. Okay, so that's there. I cleaned the spot. Now here's the mare. Very cute. Okay, little bathing setup. I've got the horse here. I've got a little grooming kit just in case. Um, and then I've got... Um, a few little bathing brushes. I'm filling my bucket up with water just because, you know, why not? And then I've got purple shampoo because this mare is dirty. And I have regular shampoo because I no longer only have grays. Got a little boy in there. Um, yeah, I also have a sweat scraper somewhere here, but yeah. Time to hose off this side. Okay, we're all done bathing because the mare's all clean. Now we're just kind of drying off in the middle of the walkway because what a better place to go than the middle of the walkway. I mean, come on. So I'm going to let her dry off. I'm going to put her back in her stall because it's not quite her pasture time yet. So yeah, well, I'll see you guys when we're done with that. Come on, please. Come on. She's dry, I swear, but she wants to keep grazing. Come on. This is her stubborn side. This is her mare side. She's very sweet most of the time, but she's very stubborn. I know that I just caught that on camera, but she just completely slammed me to this wall. So very nice, but she's done with me. I can tell. It's okay. She was still a very good girl today. Okay. Okay guys, so I know that this video wasn't really as much about tarot. Um, I mean, it was supposed to be mainly about tarot, but then it was too short. So I just decided to vlog for the rest of the time, but yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to update you guys. I'm definitely going to update you guys a little bit on Instagram. I'll probably make a post about that soon as well. Um, and I'll kind of update you here and there. But of course, there's other videos to come. So, you know, hopefully he'll be healed soon. Hopefully we can start showing a little bit. But yeah, I mean, I just got to cross my fingers. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video to the end. Um... But yeah, so please remember to like and subscribe down below and I will see you all in my next video.